you continue to say as this roster takes hits that it's an opportunity for guys to step up and produce? It seems like Tyler Wade has now taken advantage of his recent opportunities. Just what do you think has led to his success at the plate? I think his work and the fact that he's he's stayed ready for any and every opportunity, but his work's been really good, whether it's on the defensive side, making sure he's getting reps as much as he can at, at different spots. Um, you know, obviously the hitting part of things, um, you know, being engaged in the game and being ready for different situations, you know, whatever running situations might come up. Um, he's, he's just been ready. And, uh, and it, it's really good to see him come and get an opportunity and, and play really well and help us win ball games. You mentioned running situations, two stolen bases for him today, four over the last seven games. You have some other guys that can also uh, run a little bit on the base pass with the way the roster is situated right now. Just how much does that change the dynamic when you have speed on the bases? Yeah, it's definitely a different dynamic. And, and when you have a few guys, um, you know, it's it's a, obviously a, a different element um, that at different times we haven't had. Um, <clears throat> So, you know, when when those guys are in there and those guys that are capable of that, um, you know, we try to take advantage and Waiter's done a really good job of that. Did Green look a lot better to you this afternoon? Yeah, I thought Greeny threw really well, uh, was efficient. Um, you know, you know, we were a little sloppy behind him where, you know, a couple balls, um, you know, extended them a little bit more. But, yeah, I thought he was really good. You mentioned some of the sloppy play. It seemed like you were a little frustrated there to end the game. Was that just from that error that took place to extend the inning? Yeah, I mean, look, we, there's a lot of good things that happened today. Um, obviously, all the bullpen guys really came up big for us. We had some key performances. Um, you know, to, to throw a three spot there in the first inning was huge. Um, but, you know, overall, though, we didn't play very well today. And we're fortunate to get out of here with another win. And, you know, we got to make sure, <clears throat> you know, we just got, we need to play a little bit better than that. We'll take the next question from Brendan Cuddy. How's Holmes and have you guys gotten a result on his uh, COVID test? Yeah, yeah, as far as I know right now, it's pending and we'll know more tonight. Would you guys leave him here in Kansas City? Is that how that works? If, if he is, does test positive? It, it, yeah, it could be. I'm not, you know, I, I haven't heard anything in all games, so I don't want to speculate too much, but I know we're, we're still waiting on, on the result. Yeah. Next question goes to Dan Martin. Aaron, uh, Luke Foyt, was that just defense at the end, taking him out? Yeah, just obviously having a lot of guys a little bit out of position um, and, and knowing, you know, we got – Lowe and, and Britt coming in there at the end that are going to put the ball on the ground. You know, I just wanted to get guys in, in more, you know, more, more of their normal positions where, you know, we have a little bit of range and coverage and things like that. And given how Britton has pitched uh, lately, it was encouraging to see him get through an inning like yeah, that. Yeah, I thought he threw really well. Um, um, you know, obviously he hits the first guy with two strikes, but – after that, you know, his stuff really ticked up. He was up in the midnight. It looked like his sinker was really, really good today. And then he, you know, puts three guys on the ground. Unfortunately, he had to do it a last time to get another double play. But, um, yeah, encouraging to see him throwing the ball like that. And hopefully it's, you know, something he can continue to build on. Lindsay Adler, you have the next question. Aaron, do you guys have a plan for who will be your 27th man for tomorrow's game? Uh, not yet. We've started to talk about that. We'll have a couple taxi squad guys probably, but we'll make that decision uh, tomorrow. You don't have a full taxi squad for now? We have a we have a handful of guys I, I, or a couple of guys here that were on taxi. Obviously, we added Krisky today. Um, we might bring a couple more in. Yeah. We'll go back to Meredith. Aaron, you mentioned the bullpen, and you knew coming into this one you were going to be using a lot of arms. Just how difficult of a task is it navigating yourself through the game, knowing that, that you're going to have to use a lot of guys in the situation? Um, you know, the guys the guys did a really good job. So they they set us up to to be in pretty good shape. You know, Albert Abreu came in and threw the ball really well. Um, you know, Rodriguez was able to get an out to finish off his inning. Um, you know, so. It, it was good to see guys kind of 
come in and over and over again do their job, which which makes it a little bit easier. You know, we get a little bit of length out of there with the two innings from Greeny, knowing we only got low for one. And uh, so when when they're when they're all kind of doing their job, you know, it makes it a little bit easier. And they did that well today.